Hey there. I wanted to take a quick video here at a stopping point. Um, I have been working pretty hard the past couple days, um, getting everything ready as I break this tank down. So I'm at a point where I've removed a few of the big colonies here. Sorry, uh, the glass has a saltwater splash all over it, so it may not be the clearest, but big clam is still there and happy. Um, if I zoom in right here, you can see a Mahano, my favorite pest that is a royal pain in the butt to get rid of. Um, hopefully my, once I remove that uh, colony and expose it, hopefully my bristletail filefish will eat it up pretty fast. Alright, so that's the tank with a, a few things uh, removed from it here, and let me uh, stop it and go out to the garage. Alright, so as before, my garage is still a complete mess. I guess since last time I took a video, I actually got the frag tank over here. Water's a little cloudy right now just from all the stuff I've been doing. I think I stirred up some sand. But uh, I got the frag tank plumbed in. You can see a couple pipes there. And down here, there's a, a uh, pump. And that's pumping the water up to the frag tank. And you can see the water coming back right there. Uh, in addition, I got my carbon, there's my carbon there, uh, carbon reactor plumbed in. It is coming back into the tank right there. And even better, my calcium reactor. I cleaned it up, topped it off, fixed that leak, hopefully, that had all the salt creep on it from a previous video. And uh, it is running again. I even calibrated the pH probe in there. And you can see it dripping right there back into this tank. Um, so this one here is where the big clam is going to go and uh, most of the live rock. Over here you can see, like I said, the water's a little cloudy right now, but you can see some of the colonies that I have put in there. So things are moving along. The plan is tomorrow to move the clam out here, so I'll try to get some video of that. <laughs> 